have tunnel vision. Think big. It hasn't stopped. Okay, so if we're officially recording, I just want to say we have a new rule on this game. Look at your camera. Ev- oh, hey. Every time <laughs> Scott name drops, we're taking a drink. Why is the guy me? Me? Jason didn't name dropped. I didn't really name drop in that last show. That was bad. That was. <laughs> I named one Backstreet you named Boy, like and now three I'm three people five times. You named Howie. You I'm st- sorry, Howie. Yeah. Yeah. Name, name dropper. Name drop. Name oh, drop. Damn. Sammy. There we go. Oh. Name drop. Name drop. Oopsie. All right. Who else did I name? Thirsty. Just name drop. Who did I name? We didn't. We really didn't name uh, Joey. Besides oh, my buddy Howard Duro. Howard Duro. Oh, we didn't. And we didn't say Joey if it tells his full name. Oh. What does Joey know? But we didn't say his full name. <sighs> you just did drink. I did. Oh. I did. I'm there. <laughs> Listen. You, you can say the word and and I'll drink. Okay, it doesn't right. matter. This is this we is need free new, PR. We need we need game Everybody rules though. So name right dropping now. means drinking. Okay. So I got to bring up a funny. One of the all right. This isn't a name dropping because he's not a celebrity. He is a celebrity manager, but I got to bring up Mulva Hill. Okay. I don't know. We'll that, do a half a drink. A name We're going to do a half a drink. Okay. Half a drink for that. Half a drink. He knows half a people that would be considered he, a name dropping. He drop. manages yeah. boys yeah. to men. He, he's he the manages man. boys to men and boys Joey Fatone. Boys to men. Joey Fatone. Two Joey more Fatone drinks. Drink. Jeez. Here we go. He okay. used to manage Salt and Pepper. Oh, hey! Uh, nice slide in. Jason just wants to drink. Nice slide in. <laughs> <laughs> we can t- we, no, I, wait, you know where I'm going with this. Go ahead. And, I, and this is this is great. So Joey and a couple people would, would host a very, very dear charity to me called a Runway to Hope. Childhood Cancer. Check it out. RunwayToHope.org. And it was after the show. Who was there? Melissa Rivers. Up. Oh, oh the Melissa hey. God, oh. Damn. That, but the Melissa Rivers show was the night I was there that you lost. That's what game. I'm talking oh, about. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to pee in a minute if we keep doing this. I'm gonna actually show <laughs> what, what I'm what I'm who talking about. Who here. else was there with Melissa Rivers? Though, get ready, get ready for the name drop. It was somebody from CNN. No, Oriental woman. Yes, Veer. Um, oh, I don't know her. Say Vera Wang. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> name drop. Vera Wang. Oh damn! I got that one. God, you see Vera Wang. Um. Yeah, no, anyway, that was a good night. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, I know what shooting, happened. I was actually shooting Barcode USA. I know what was happening. And Scott Jace, was, Jason Scott starts was, going, on. Wait, no. No, 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 wait. Scott was big time in the whole night. Whatever. Scott, Scott, Dude, like, I was helping the kids. Look at me here. I'm having a, I'm, I'm doing a show. And then I had, to, I, had the bust, kids. I had to bust in. Go ahead, Scott. No, you didn't bust in. I'm talking to Joe. And then all of a sudden... I don't know what came over us, man. It was WWE all day long. I became Mean Gene. You became I don't know what you became, but it was the funniest video ever. <laughs> as a matter of fact, fun. as a matter you know, instead of talking about it, let's just go to the real. Do we just sit here and pause and pretend no, we're frozen? No, because I'm going to go to the real. Why you actually go to a real? Yes, we're going to go to an actual and real of him going. Wait, you brother, you know, you started doing a whole. Let me COVID. tell you something, Scott. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Can we get the light on? Are you guys? guys? All right. I said I was going to interview the one and only Joe Mobahill. You got my buddy Jack. I don't know, man. Tell me what you do. Tell us about your life. Oh, man. I don't know anything. You know, Let me tell you what he does. Oh, hey, this guy time. handles celebrities. He handles <laughs> peon like me. He handles everything. He is the world of entertainment. Woo! <laughs> Jason Flair, everybody. The, na- the nature boy. His problem listen, can't follow. Listen, man, you don't want none of this. You want none of it. <laughs> See, that's the problem. What he, he said. He can't really follow that because it continues. It does. It, it continues. continues. Yeah. But it gets bigger and bigger every time he pops. Just continue talking to the man. <laughs> See? Show him all the hell. <laughs> and the great thing about Jason is as I'm trying to explain that's something, Scott. he comes back in again with a whole other level of stuff. Bro. Let me tell you something, Scott Messina. <laughs> this man is the creator. He's an innovator. He's the man. Yeah. Woo! Again, that's that's the problem with him is is as you say something, and then yeah, the funny thing is, say shit. No, no, no. As I listen, we've been in public, and as I start talking about something, and I really get into it. He's gonna be a little <laughs> calm down, but let me tell you something. This man is the man who makes things happen. He is entertainment. Woo! 
Joe Mobahill, Jason Logan, hey, I'm and Jack just ran. I'm glad Jack I ran talk to you. Yeah, I love you, Thank man. you for talking to me, I love you. Brother. You're a good dude, You're good man. people. You're a good dude. Thank you for talking to me tonight. <laughs> He's going to be humble. <laughs> He's going to be the one who brings it down and puts it on somebody else. But let me tell you something. He's the guy. That, hey, Joe, one more hey, that one guy. One more woo. One more woo. That guy. One more woo. That yeah, makes it happen. <laughs> woo! I told you, bro. <laughs> It's always a pleasure. Oh, no. But, dude, you were feeling no pain that evening. Uh, bro, listen, I had come from an event, and I, I, I showed up halfway through the, the night. I mean, I, 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 they chose, like, hey, come on. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm already dressed because I had an event. And uh, he goes, yeah, just come in. I'm like, okay. So came in, free booze. I ate food off of people's oh, the, plates. The best, the best. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, that's a really good event for what I saw yes. of it. And then no, we're like, be. hey, let's go backstage. You know, we're we're all trying to leave, and we're with our friend from NSYNC. I'm not drinking. I don't I'm not care saying about this. <laughs> Anyways, and myself, <laughs> Mulder Hill, and Jack DeFeo, and our friend from NSYNC who was hosting. I'm you not, said in sync. No, I'm not, oh, no I, I'm not name dropping his name. No, though. you said in sync. All right. Well, whatever. Joey. Um, <laughs> to make it a legit yeah. drink. And I was. And Scott's trying to interview, and I was just like, "Let's go have some fun, dude." Like, yeah, that was. I, I love being chaos. Can you no, make me it was, show your underarm to the um, camera? Oh, my my underarm. Did you see that? Can you see? Did you see that? I got. I still got the. You don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Only the best for my podcast. I'm returning this thing tomorrow. Wait, I, I'm, I'm not, that I'm not we got all to color Hey, that was on the clearance rack. Was it? I'm returning it That's tomorrow. That's a clearance rack. He's returning it Scott tomorrow. Scott said, hey, so wait the, a second. the clothes you wore here, they bleed <laughs> into the camera. Wait a second. So Let's wear get, the lumberjack. No, no, the clothes you wore were not good were good enough. Wear the clearance rack. Yeah, hey, clearance I should rack. have that shirt on with this beard. <laughs> I know, right? You're the lumberjack. Oh. I'm the lumberjack. And you're okay. Brawny. Can we stay on? What was the whole point of that? Oh, anyways. He that, was, the vid the was me showing them the video and showing how outrageous he got. Oh. And Joe looks okay. at me yeah. and goes, Joe looks at me and goes. <laughs> Joe's trying to actually have a, have a, a normal conversation. <laughs> no, he with wasn't. No, he, wasn't. he knew what you were doing and he egged you on. Well, that's And it was beginning. brilliant. Yeah. That's, that, that's because you two have been friends for 30 years. Yeah. I share an office with the dude. And that's what happens. No, dude. No, dude, nothing was like but Wait, let's go back. It's Tammy's podcast. Yeah, you Tammy. and I see. We're getting ready to fire yeah. her and just have her ask Scott and Jason. Hey, but, oh, yeah, me. Oh, oh, Tammy's oh, got questions. Never, oh, go ahead, Tammy. When did you get here? <gasps> I love you. I love you. All right, so what what feedback have you received from episodes previous? I don't know. I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> Again with the dumb questions. Why is he assigned? I, he the really question? is not. A, he's not. A not that question. We didn't like that question. We he's didn't not like a good that question. That pissed me off. <laughs> Why did it piss you? I've been off? mad about Why it for about a month. Question. Why? Because I got called out. How but it was do funny. you so finesse I couldn't get that mad corporate it was funny. America? Yeah, I mean, what are we talking? It was you, funny. You, you dude. Don't care? I mean, listen. You're no. We don't like that question. No, that, that question's <laughs> stupid. Let's move on. That question's yeah, stupid. Yeah. Oh no, that question's stupid. It's dumb. You just well, you got to understand. So you I went into post and tried to, you know, polish up a couple of things. And I'm looking at it. And I had to keep repeating it. I'm like, God damn. I thought he was my friend. I am your friend. I know you are. I love Don't you. Don't be man. that way. Don't You're a funny way. dude, man. So what? Um, so yeah, you, you, you were ballsy to be in between he and I. With no, you guys make me laugh. I'm all good. Well, I told you about that. You need to. That Kamala Harris laugh is just. Oh, wait. <laughs> Kamala oh. Harris. Oh. Nice. But wait, is this really a name drop? You just you just said a name. No, that's not. You that's know, not name you drop. You gotta know Kamala Harris, right? It has to be in the first person tense. It's got to be a name drop because you wait, know add, somebody. Wait, new rule, new you rule. You can't just name rules. celebrities and yeah. drink. You're adding rules. You listen, don't know anybody else, so we're listen. Good. I watched the Jodie Foster movie the other night. That's, <laughs> ah, that's really not a name fun. drop. But I'm trust me. Right. So, so then it becomes know anybody else. We're wait, good. wait, wait, wait. So so I do my my favorite uncle ever. My, my uncle, my uncle G. I'll just say Uncle G. Uncle G. His G, his G, report G. on episode one was, oh, you know, God it's bless. A generational. God thing. bless. It's a generational thing. So I knew I no, wasn't I really going to market to any of this to the villages. Am I allowed to leave? No, this is real. No, I really have to pee. You have to pee for real. We just drink. We just name drop. Hurry up! I'm still. Oh, may I go? For I'm real? still rolling. Me and Jason about Uncle talk. G. Do not let them talk about me while I'm gone, Caitlin. No, I'm going to tell them about Uncle George. Oh, Dad. Uh, it's all right. Uncle I will George. drink to Uncle George. Well, 
He's Everybody's got an Uncle George. Don't act like it. Don't act like you gave away state so secrets. So wait a second. So wait a second. Where is she going? Where are you going? Go this way. What are you doing? So. <laughs> She's walking right to the camera. Ask Tammy, where are you going? Where's she going? That was the question of the night. Where are you going? By the way, that toilet, that toilet she's going to, yes, is lit up. It's a freaking nightclub. I love it. It is a disco in that toilet. Uh, now I, you're going to make me get video for B roll. Anyway, let me tell you about Uncle G. All right, go, Uncle G. So he says to me, "Well, you know, you know he's Italian. He's he's our he's our he's a Italian. What's it called? Hey, how you doing? What's the head of the family? Patriarch." Patriarch, sure. He's our patriarch. He, I don't want to be patriarch. You're the patriarch. You're the oldest Messina, you know. And he goes, "If you want to know the truth, it wasn't for me. It was. It wasn't for me. You know, what was it for him? Wait. Okay. He's seventy five years old, dealing with a couple of health issues. He's he's battling it like a like a champ. You know, y'all drink. You know, sitting around drinking, and you know, you you know, because they. I mean, they've heard me and Tammy Becker, and yeah. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I called him out, dude. I said, wait, look, that's a racehorse. She's already back. <laughs> She's already back. God. He dang. made it three so wait, sentences so wait, Uncle G. I, I called him out. I said, look, I said, Uncle G, seriously. So his best friends are like for 50 years. This dude, Dennis, and this dude, Cousin Eddie. He's Cousin Eddie from, from Vacation. I love Cousin Eddie. I said, are you trying to tell me if you were in your early 50s and you're sitting around drinking and you were podcasts were around back then and you're cutting it up and then. having a ball, at the end of the day, you would have done the same thing because it would have been that hysterical. These are some of the funniest people I know, but they're old. Right. And like, same with my mom's, con- you know, constructive cr- criticism. You know, I, I, my feelings were hurt a little bit. I'll be real. It's not constructive. It's your mom. She's going to criticize. That's okay. the truth, though. Can I talk about something now? Yes, Tammy. Welcome back, Tammy. Are She's you back. relieved? You look I 20 am. pounds lighter. I feel much better. Thank you. Um, so I have another one, and it's kind of going back, because I really do genuinely want people's opinion on this, because it's 50-50. So our poll. Okay. You travel. Is, is this our poll for the night? Oh, travel man. Oh, it could be our poll this for the night. This is our poll for, right. the, for, for the Oh, we have a poll. All right, new we segment. Poll. <laughs> We've got a poll tonight. <laughs> we need music. It's poll I just sang the theme song. Um, we love it. So... You're a traveling man. You're married. Yep. You travel. F- no, I don't. Not really. I travel <laughs> uh, more for work. So here's here's the question. When I travel or when you travel. Did we work, talk about this in episode one? No. Do you or do you not want to talk to the spouse the entire time you're gone? No. So this is Scott. She thought about this. The, yeah, I did. I just thought about this too. And it was a good one. When we're here all day, every day, we work together. I mean, we don't work together, but right. we work. We're in the house. Like we're in each other's face. We wake up. We work. We watch TV. It's like right. it's constant. When I travel for work, I no disrespect. I don't want to talk to you. Right. Usually I'm busy though, right? I'm in yeah, meetings yeah, and then I'm taking Hurtful. people out for dinner. Like Hurtful. it's a whole thing. And for some odd reason, he feels the sudden need to miss me. And want to call all day. Well, until that's she, sweet. That's night, sweet. No. I, I'll get until it. she sweet. needs something, then all of a sudden, but my phone's me, blowing I'm up. I'm like, I want the break. Like, I will call you yes. if I feel the need to talk to yeah. you. I'm busy. And I noticed that it's also the opposite, too. So when on the times he's doing gigs, all of a sudden, I'm calling. I'm busy. What do you want? Right. Like, right, right, right. like that's annoying to me. Like, I love that you miss that person but it's like you're getting away for a reason yeah like i don't need to hear you and uh, yeah while i'm gone that's a whole oh that other thing that's so cute he's like we'll go up maryland to visit you know framley and uh, i'll be gone three four days tops did you miss me how am I supposed to answer that? <laughs> All right, so let me. I mean, genuinely, I'm a, I, I did not wait, miss you. Know, you we, we, we're because counting I on was him not, as a marriage counselor. I was not. That's gone. really not no, good. No, you but don't I want, was not going we're long doomed. enough to miss you. You don't want my opinion on this because my wife and I do not talk at all, ever. We don't talk. Well, we don't. Different. We don't talk. We don't talk when we live in the house. We don't talk about work. We work together, and like when I go on the road, and I'm gone like 23, 24 you weekends out of the lot, year. Bro. Oh, yeah, you I'm gone. I'm gone a you lot. A lot. I won't speak to my wife. She'll, she'll drop me off at the airport on a Thursday morning, and I won't speak to her until she's. It, 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 there, there might be a couple texts in between. Yeah, but I won't talk to her until she picks me up. 
Yeah. On Monday morning. And she'd be like, I'd be like, how, you know, she won't say, how was your trip? She'll be like, Cooper, this, like, well, this has happened. I'm like, did you want to ask me about my trip? Because I was gone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Cooper's the man. Yeah. My, my, just, my just, just wait, kids, Cooper. Man. Cooper. I'm Cooper and I Cooper. guess, and I guess that's the thing is if I'm gone and did you miss me? Like genuinely, how do you answer that? I don't want to hurt his feelings, right. but yeah, no, I get it. But not to be mean or not to come off as <laughs> mean, but You're I didn't mean. miss you. But, you guys You're are, but I didn't miss you because I was You're only mean. gone four right. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What's your favorite saying? What's your favorite thing? If I ever get my hall pass, I'm going to end up at Applebee's like that. Oh, so this one, he, <laughs> this one thinks if he, if he ever, if we ever separated, he's dating like, um, name someone like, like Christy Brinkley. Ladies. Or Megan Fox. Megan Drake. Fox. Ladies. Better. Ladies. So my Would you husband. you turn this down? <laughs> My husband thinks, you know, that he's Megan Fox level right and now. he's I all didn't this. I say that. I don't even like her. But you know her. what I mean. No. But like he's already named who I mean, I like her. Right. And I, no, she's and pretty, so if you, but... if you ever remember that movie Hall Pass, like yeah. the whole movie was Who's about, your Hall Pass, by the way? Was, oh, I have lots of Hall Just Passes. Just give me number one. Because oh. of her reading bullshit. Yeah, uh, most said, of my oh, Hall Passes are fictional. Stuff. Most of my hall passes are fictional. But real life, Hall Pass for real, oh, I would do. Wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about A.W. Oh, the AW's another one. AW. Oh, but hold on. Let me finish my sentence. Okay, so, sorry about that. So Agreement going back worthy. to Hall Pass, the movie was hilarious because they spoke all this, like hyped right. it all up and yeah, ended up at Applebee's. So the joke between us is, um, he's like, oh, I wish you would, blah, blah, blah. I know I'm going to do. And I'm like, what, are you going to end up at Applebee's? Like that's yeah. literally with a girl. I don't know with Jason with a girl in your bathroom, up. like totally. I'm going to end up with Jason, and literally. we're just going to just cry like we did. No, wait, wait, anything. wait. We can bring up we can bring up the ultimate night of ultimate nights. Which one? Vines. That was a good night. A year ago, this weekend. Don't oh, say it if you wait, get we're anybody getting ready to name drop. So no, ready. I'm not name dropping because I respect these people too okay. much. Okay. <laughs> however, there was a bunch of names that could have been dropped that night. We're gonna go ahead and say. That Jason and I and, and and the crew that was with us celebrating many birthdays got sexy back effed up. <laughs> yeah, we did. We totally did. I didn't it's sexy you didn't say to sexy back. Kaylee and I are laughing yeah, about something. To sexy totally back. Dude, did you feel like honestly, that night was magical. And you invited me. You were like Joe Joe had hit me up, but like you were like, dude, we're, we're here. We're here. Let's come, go. Come on, let's go. I swear, no, no, I swear to God. It was like, like a Saturday Night Live skit. I like TV it shows. Was pretty that was a live Saturday like Night Live skit. <laughs> it was. All right, back to Tammy. So, Tammy, Ask her. tell me your your hall pass. Go ahead. Give me, give uh, me the number one. Yeah, that was I should have been though. thinking about that the t- entire time you just bored me. You said um, Oscar De La Hoya at one point. Oh, Oscar but that's, De La no, no, that Hoya. Was, oh, that was Doesn't he wear lingerie? Ago. That was 20 years ago. I'm not saying there's no wrong with it, but. God, who? There's so many, and now I'm going wait, blank. You don't want Jack, wait, 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 wait. You don't want to mind. I'll, I'll, I'll just pass. leave it mind. Yeah, give me a the second. Biker, the biker dude you love. Charlie Hune? Yes. Hunan? Hunan? <gasps> oh, wow. Who's chiming Bummer. in? I don't see her. Who, oh who do I see? She has no camera. By far, the Even, biggest mistake, and I'm calling it on Kaylee this Cam. podcast, <laughs> is not casting Matt Bomber as Fifty Shades of Grey Christian. Hands down, mic drop, okay. set it. Okay, let's done. be real about it though. I believe Hollywood. We talked about this. I believe Hollywood felt like he, he he's a profound gay actor, unbelievable actor, yeah. good looking dude. Perfect. But they didn't believe the he would be book. able to sell the character because that's what we heard. The I mean, world yeah. already knew. Yeah. That dude. He gay I mean, gay. he just is literally so, so, the walking version of the character in the book. Well, what about Harvey from from Suits? Why couldn't he have done it? Well, because he wasn't big at the time that that, that really kind of came man. out. Harvey, I'm Harvey still not from Harvey's a, he's the man. Harvey from Suits. Did, did I tell you? I'm going to tell a fun story. You know the redhead, Harvey's assistant? What's her name? Yes, What's Laura. Her name? Oh, uh, no. Well, Donna. 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 Thank you, Donna. Donna. I we, bu- we booked her for a gig. Uh, here She's in just Florida, here, by the way, ladies and, and gentlemen. Um, this is one of my favorite stories. Uh, what? Wait, wait. What gig? And you, it gig? was it was a charity gig, and to she, do what? To, to host the uh, the ceremonies. Okay, she was a host. Uh, she was hosting the thing. I forget what charity it was, but it was some one of her charities. And uh, uh, the uh, organization asked, "Hey, can you guys book her for this gig?" We're like, "Sure, we'll book her." 
Okay, no problem. So Wait, we're talking about Donna. Donna. Okay. Yes. So she was going to be the the host of the night. You know, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. This is the dear, dear to my heart, uh, whole charity. So we booked Donna, and Donna. Um, not her real name, but it's Donna. Right, we're but gonna call her Donna. I don't, I don't, I don't even. <laughs> we're gonna lady, call her it's Donna. Just Donna. I don't even She's know what her real name is. She's now typecasted as Donna forever. <laughs> so she, um, and you, I mean, with with celebrity contracts, you know, they, you gotta pay for airfare, you gotta pay for hotel, you gotta you gotta pay for it. They they have a rider, and you gotta you gotta fill out the rider. So we said to them, I was like, hey, go ahead and tell us what flight you want to be on, and we'll put you on this flight, and you know, we'll get the client to pay for it. No big deal. Well, she was coming from Toronto, so Air Canada was the best choice to go from Air Canada to Toronto on a direct flight. Well, Air Canada operates Airbus 321s. There's really not a first class in a lot of Airbus 321s. No, that's Southwest. Well, there's it, no first class in Southwest. There's no, yeah, South. If you're familiar with Southwest, that's what they use. Right. 738s, Air 30, same 321s. One, same, same. Why do you guys know that? I just know because I travel. You're um, weird. So uh, she books. It, she <laughs> says, "I want this flight on on Air Canada at this time." And the, I the, want purple skin. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Was she being bougie M&Ms. like that? No, her her assistant was being bougie. And okay. only Avion water. Yeah, her her agent slash assistant was being bougie like that. Don, the, 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 celebrities don't. Act She's like cool. That. She don't like. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah celebrities well. don't. Sometimes they do, but the assistants are paid to be bougie. So we booked the flight that she asked for. Okay, cool. Come back two days later. Oh my God! Um, this flight is not a first class <laughs> flight. Um, she will only travel first class from blah 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 blah. And uh, my wife, who has been dealing with her, she goes, "You have to step in. I cannot deal with these free right. people. I right. will cut so, out." She had enough. Yeah. So I was just like, I go, I go, I pick up the phone. And I go, uh, "Hi, so and so. This is Jason Logan from XYZ Company." I go, president, CEO, and manager of C-list celebrities. If you could please give me a call back. Manager of C-list, I, C-list, C-list celebrities? I go, I would love to talk to you and your C-list celebrities oh my God. itinerary for coming down to Orlando for the contract that you've already signed and for the flight that she already chose. So please fr- feel free to give me a call back. I mean, dude, did you just Donna really say from C-list celebrities? Of course but it was I did. She but said Donna C-list people. List, but... Listen, right. dude, you and I are D, Let me so, she, so I will give now, her a C. wait, not if it was what's-its-face that I'm we not, liked. I might not even She is hot, okay. though. She's no, pretty hot. But though. back then, I'm a Z. When, when we booked her, she, it wasn't like this. Suits wasn't place. Suits. It wasn't Suits. It was on USA. and it, it, You could have booked Megan. But Megan Markle, <laughs> yeah, that show blew <laughs> up because of Megan Markle. Oh, <laughs> n- no, but you don't know her. Yeah, we don't know her. Yeah, we just said a name. Anyways. In my um, dreams. So her, her assistant calls me back. She goes, hi, how's it going? And I'm like, and she started getting all bougie with me. I'm like, no, 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 no. I go, listen. She called you personally? Yeah. No, not not Donna, <coughs> but her assistant did. And uh, Donna her assistant, has an assistant. What, what is <laughs> no. her real name, though? God only knows. And why she does she have an assistant? assistant? Why, do I have, why do I have an I assistant? Know. But anyways, <laughs> I, I set her straight. And I go, listen, she's the one who picked the flight. <laughs> I don't know what the if she wanted a first class flight. Maybe she should have looked at Air Canada's schedule and see what was going on. But don't blame us. Wait, are they Canadian? She was in Toronto at the time. Are you God. not following the, oh, the story? Oh dear, you lost God. me. I'm like Tammy. How did you lost me? <laughs> What's he talking about over there? Anyways, Donna. I was yelling at this lady, and I basically the assistant. She gets out of everything. She's a finesser. That's a real. But here's the best part: the part of the contract she was supposed to come down an hour before. And worked the room. She came down uh, 15 minutes before she went on stage and worked the room. Okay. Because she didn't you want would to be part of literally thing. act like think she was like Harvey or Mike. But even, Mike. But even when I booked her, none of those people. Or even them. Were them. Bro. <laughs> I mean, that show had been on for five years, but no one That's watched. Funny. So wait, wait, wait. I'm not, I can't even say the name. Honestly, I'm being real with y'all. I can't even say the name and she knows who it is. Can I say the name? No. Oh. Because it'll get a suit or something. A certain celebrity individual on a certain charity that you and I are very familiar with. Right. One night said at the after uh, the uh, event. Are you going to give it away, though, by saying whatever you no, say they said? No, they, nobody would ever know who I'm talking about. Okay. Then who why I'm is this talking relevant? About. But, but what he said was, oh. 
I only want to take pictures with the sickest kids because I've had six a.m. Oh, I know tea who you're time. About. I know who you're talking about. Please tell me who that was later on. I will. I will tell you off camera. And do you know? Maneuver. And I don't. Gay? I don't want. I don't want the heat. No. Because because he's. Let's just but wait, say no, in don't American say anything sweetheart. Else but I'm yet. like. But do you know to this day, all these years later, whenever that person him. shows up on camera, he literally out loud. As if it's a script goes, God, I hate that dude. No, I'll turn the like, channel. He's a piece of shit. Yeah, he hates it. There's my, there's my one cuss word in two episodes. Still yeah, to this day. When you're, when you're a POS, you're a POS. Like Mike Tyson said. Oh, I don't know Mike Tyson. You don't know Mike. <laughs> I want to drink. It has to be first person. You know person. like four people. It has to That's be first it. person. Jason Logan. I'm drinking okay, to Jason I'll Logan. That. I'm Jason Tammy's drinking to Tammy's. I would drink one. to that. I got nothing. I got nothing. Some <laughs> celebrities, they get it. Some don't. It's, it's, it's. <laughs> you guys bore me. Well, what the heck do you want to talk about? Let's finish this episode off. You know what? You you're re- you're getting weird. real close for so this. You're easy. getting real close to this becoming the Jason and Scott show. She might be fired. You know what? Let's I bring think- Kaylee on. You're out. <laughs> Good. I can go. I wouldn't you. do that, punk. I love you. All right. Ask Tammy. Yeah, ask her something, ask Jason. Ask me. All right. One more question from Tammy. Go. Okay. I'm trying to think of another good one. That Boring. <laughs> Jeez. Touche, you bastard. Uh, <laughs> with your Clarence shirt. That's my Clarence shirt. <laughs> You're literally going to try to return that, aren't you? I'm going to return it tomorrow. What are you talking it's about? It's your shirt, dude. You own that shirt. I 588. Swear. I you know that 588. No, no, no. I want you to shadow box it. You mean shadow box in there? Ask Tammy. Episode three. Maybe this should be the the uh, Ask Tammy logo. This shirt. I like that shirt, dude. That's why I bought it. And let you. Yeah, it was a clearance rack. All it's right. cute though. Good. All right. Now. Seriously, Tammy, Tammy thinks I'm cute. Let's talk about this oh, something hours. something that's important to you. Books. Oh, oh God. God! I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally Kaylee, just what kidding. time are we at? <laughs> totally just kidding. Oh I, my wait, God! Thirty four minutes. Two. Excuse me, I have to sit here for fifteen episode minutes and two hear is you done. talk about Donna's dumbass assistant. Hey, Donna's dumbass assistant. It's a celebrity. It's what, what books but are we talking about? What is she though? Are we talking about your sex books? Bust your ass. Are we talking about your sex books again? We're talking about fictional books. Fictional books <laughs> that have very sexual innuendos going on. I can't involve myself in that. How dare you? I'm a Christian. Me too. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> Thank you.